former Tucson police officer, co-founder of Blexit and founder of the Tatum Report. Welcome to the show, Brandon Tatum. Hey, Brandon, how you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, you heard me read some of that letter. I'm sure you were already familiar with that letter coming out where the BLM folks are demanding that a Biden and Harris presidency, if it happens, do their bidding. Uh, your thoughts after watching what happened to our nation this summer with BLM and the Antifa movement coming together with these radical and wild and destructive uh, riots. They weren't protests, they were riots and them now demanding that if he becomes president, you do what we say. Well, this is a perfect example of a lack of leadership when you have two terrorist groups that are coming out and saying that they're going to demand and they're going to control the president of the United States of America. That should be alarming to anybody in this country. For BLM to make a statement to say black people won this election, I'd say shame on black people for pushing socialism and pushing this drama and chaos into our country. These individuals on the left are lunatics. Let's get it, let's get it very clear. These people are crazy. They don't love this country. They hate America. They're going to destroy America. This is like a household where you have a bad parent who let the kids do whatever they want to do, and they have no leadership, they have no guidance, they have no discipline, and their household is running crazy. That's exactly what the Democrats are going to do to the United States of America. You being a uh, former cop, it just must disgust the living heck out of you when you see elected officials, um, and to me, it disgusts me more when they are an elected official, versus our average citizen. Or when I see a journalist uh, push this defund the police movement that we have watched spread across our country. Hopefully you could hear those stories I just read before your interview about what's happening in places like Minneapolis, like L.A., where the city councils run by Democrats are actually going through with this and defunding things like the sexual assault unit. Why on earth would anyone, especially liberal women out there that belong to the Me Too movement, go along with something like this in Los Angeles? Well, the chaos that they're, they're uh, receiving right now, I have three words for them. That's what you get. <laughs> if you are going to claim that you're going to defund the police, defunding the police have multiple aspects, right? I mean, you physically defund them by financially taking money away, but then you demoralize the police department by shaming them and acting as if they're the problem in these cities. The big issue here, and, and what I've seen across the country, is that when you don't respect the police department, they leave. They're not patrolling. Crime is going out of control. The citizens and some of these leftist lunatics, they want to make it sound like this is a great idea and this will make everybody better. But the, real, the realistic reality of what's going on is that these cities are going to crumble and fall if they do not have law enforcement officers. And I hope they get exactly what they deserve. Everybody that voted for these lunatics, everybody that voted to defund the police, you're going to get what you deserve because the police are not going to serve this community like they should. And, they, and I believe that they should walk off the job and also not apply for the police department if they're not going to be respected and they're not going to have support. Mm. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, how could you trust anyone that is supposed to be leading you like a city council, a mayor or whatever, like in Chicago, Minneapolis, L.A., who adheres to and bows down to these radicals, and then you've got to don a uniform, put a gun uh, and a badge on every day, and go out there and try to police the streets, knowing that the elected leaders who have hired you uh, don't back you, don't support you. i, I, I got to imagine that we are going to see, and we did see it over the summer, an even more mass exodus from folks, whether it be in, in the law enforcement world, retiring early, just switching careers, or just walking off the job and saying, I'll figure it out later, but I'm not going to do this anymore. And that is a sad, sad day in our country. You know, because being a police officer is just not a job. It's a calling on your life. You put your life on the line every single day to protect the very people that probably hate you. And for you to not have support from the city, have support from the people who claim to love you and, and to employ you, then that's a, that's a very daunting thing. I mean, it, it is not likely that police officers are going to uh, put in their best effort if the people are not going to show them support, especially when you are doing your job, you are following the law, and then you end up in prison because the social justice warriors don't like the way you conduct business. So I think it's a sad day in this country for policing. I would never be a police officer in this atmosphere. Um, I'll take up 
my Second Amendment to defend my family, but I wouldn't be out here doing that if I can risk going to jail and different things like that because of social justice warriors and not the reality of law and order in America. Yeah. Brandon Tatum, we thank you so much for joining us. Uh, founder of the Tatum Report and also the co-founder of Blexit. Tell folks real quick before we leave where they can find you. TheOfficerTatum.com. That's where you can find all of my social media and everything else. All right. Brandon, thanks for being brave, man, and standing up uh, and having a voice for conservatives out there and conservative black folks in our country uh, because it takes some big guts to do that these days when you look at the the nonsense, the hatred spewed from the left and spewed from the mainstream media towards anybody, actually, who's a conservative, but especially if you are a black conservative voice. So thank you. God bless. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, making news real again. <laughs> We're trying here on Real America, man. We're trying. Stay with us. We'll be right back.